struggling retail chain is at the center of what some people are calling a David and Goliath struggle between big and small investors. GameStop used to be hugely popular with video gamers, but it's been hit hard by changes in business. That set the stage for a Wall Street showdown that's starting to affect the broader market. Vladimir Duce has been following this story. Vlad, so many people are talking about this. What exactly is going on? Anthony, good morning. You sound like one of my old clients when I was a VP in investment management. So let me tell you what's going on. In less than a year, the company's stock has jumped from less than $3 a share to almost $350. How and why that happened has caused rumbles on Wall Street as small investors apparently joined forces to beat the big traders at their own game. To Main Street, it's the world's largest video game retailer. But on Wall Street, GameStop is the latest battleground between the financial elite and small investors. Shares of the company have soared nearly 800% over the past week, driven by anonymous posts on the Reddit forum Wall Street Bets. Stephanie Mehta is editor-in-chief at Fast Company. And they're kind of sticking it to the big institutional investors, the hedge funds, by basically forcing the big guys to lose money because they had been shorting or betting against GameStop. Here's what happened. All last year, GameStop was struggling, its stock selling at less than $20 a share. Big Wall Street investors saw an opportunity. They started shorting the stock, betting the price would drop. If it did, they would make money. But if it rose, they'd take a loss. That action angered small investors who used the Reddit forum to encourage others to buy, driving up the stock price dramatically and creating massive losses for those big-time Wall Street investors. On Wednesday, GameStop stock closed at almost $350 a share. It is a company that sells products that are widely available online from other sources. It is competing against companies like Amazon. You can see why companies bet against it. Some small investors said they made tens of thousands of dollars. One said it would help pay for medical treatment. But one major hedge fund, Citron Capital, says it took a 100% loss in covering most of its stake in GameStop. What do you make of what's going on with GameStop? You know, I'm fascinated by it. I've Jamie Rogozinski created the Wall Street Bets Reddit forum back in 2012. He says small investors like being the masters of their own Wall Street destiny. There is something to be said about the fact that that pretty much anybody can do it too, and, and watching them do it collectively is certainly a certainly a show. But where there is reward, there is also risk. At the end of the day, the best way to invest in the stock market is to either work with a financial advisor, work with a retirement portfolio manager. And if you do see a stock that you're interested in investing in, do the research and buy essentially on the fundamentals. And it's not just GameStop. Reddit investors appear to already be moving on to their next targets. Movie theater chain AMC saw its stock surge more than 300% just on Wednesday after the hashtag SaveAMC began trending on Twitter, Anthony. Glad, thank you. So let's bring in CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. Jill, good morning. So I got a text from my 20-year-old son in college yesterday saying his classmates are playing this stock game and he wants in on it too. What do you tell people like that trying to get on the market right now? You know, as Vlad noted in his piece, the experts are saying, hey, sure, you want to learn about the stock market? That's fine. Whatever your son or anyone else is thinking about investing, just pretend this is money that is essentially entertainment and education. You've got to be able to lose it. And I think that people are jumping onto the bandwagon without understanding the risk. So if you go into it saying, hey, I would like to learn more about this thing called investing, and I'm going to do it by buying shares, that it's really important that you you know, you could lose everything you invest. So no emergency reserve fund, no borrowing to make this happen, and no making this a, a be-all, end-all, or a replacement to your long-term financial planning. How big a hit, Jill, are the Wall Street firms who are shorting these stocks taking, and what's this doing to the market? Well, you know, it's interesting. These firms, these big institutional hedge funds, they are piling into these bets and saying, hey, we don't believe in the viability of this company. There is nothing inherently wrong with short selling. In fact, short selling has been at the root of getting big information out to all investors. If you remember Enron, that was a fraudulent company that was exposed by short selling. So we shouldn't be 
anti-short selling. But these companies are taking institutional money, rich people's money, they bet against the stock, and they lost. It doesn't have any wider implication. In fact, if you look at GameStop stock, and it's up hundreds of a percent, over the last five days, the S&P 500 is actually down by a couple of percent. It's one company amid a huge market. Is GameStop worth 350 bucks, <laughs> Jill? And how does this all end? <laughs> Uh, by the way, Tony, Tony does not believe that. I heard as we went into the break. Uh, I'll tell you the advice I gave to somebody I know who actually made a bunch of money in it. And I'm a former trader myself. And I said, you know what? You just made a ton of money. I would get out, pay your taxes and move on. I think that the reality is for most people, this is not something you necessarily want to replicate. Please, if you're doing it, be very careful how it ends. We don't know. Hey, remember way back when, in 1996, Alan Greenspan talked about irrational exuberance. He was right, but he was five years early. So just be careful out there. Yeah. Good advice, Jill Schlesinger. Thanks, Jill.